Hey, what's up? And welcome to Hack My Growth. In this episode, we're going to be talking about HubSpot SEO. All right, let's go. So HubSpot's a great all-in-one inbound marketing, really business management software for you. But if you want to get the benefits of being found in search, you're going to need a lot more than a SEO-friendly content management system or business system. Just blogging on its own isn't going to necessarily get you the results that you want to see for your business. You've got to do the little things and you've got to do them well if you want to see the benefits in search. So let's take a look at HubSpot and how we can use it and leverage it to make our sites more SEO friendly. So this is the HubSpot um, platform, right? And from here, we can access a lot of things. We can access our CRM, our sales tools, all that's good. But really what we want to look at today is our marketing tools. So if you have your website on HubSpot, like we do, you can actually see your, your website pages here. So when we log into our website pages, the first thing that we want to make sure that we do is that is ensure that our, our SEO, that our on-page SEO is actually taken care of. Now, SEO is a lot more than on-page. We've got backlink strategy. We've got a lot of other things going on. But for most businesses, really what you need to do is start with the basics and make sure that you're doing the little things well. When you log into a page, you know, you can see the, the page, you can edit the different elements in the page. But what we want to do is, is get into the settings, because this is where we're going to really be able to see what we're doing as far as our on-page search goes. Over here, HubSpot also has a tool called Optimize. So this is going to give you some suggestions on what you can do. So find a core topic. And now this is attached to their content strategy. I'm still a believer in keywords. I believe that keywords are still extremely important that you need to be targeting them. You want to be a topic authority, yes, um, but I think targeting specific pages for keywords still works because the search engines are driven by keywords. I've got another video that you can check out. We'll link to that at the end of this one. Now, if you're using HubSpot and you want to link it in here, you can go ahead and just link a core topic. You know, you can say it's a pillar page or supporting page. I've also got a video on pillar pages if you want to check out more about that. Uh, but they've just got some things here, you know, inbounding links, word, word count, you know, just different things that you need to look at. Uh, our, our page has enough content. It's got um, a lot of inbound links coming to it. So there's a lot of elements here that HubSpot will help you out with. If it's a pillar page, just click a pillar page. You can attach a topic to it. This is just going to help give you a little bit more of a score. Kind of if you were like on a WordPress site and you use the Yoast plugin, it was kind of optimizing it through here. To me, this is good, but it's uh, it's just a, just a couple of things that we want to do. So looking at title tags, meta tags, and all that making sure that you have the right H tags. Uh, this, like I said, it's, it's a good tool, but it's really attached more to the core topics tool and not really to a keyword strategy. If you want to do it based on the keyword strategy, you're going to have to use some little bit of old school SEO. So we're going to go over to the, key, the settings page here. You have the internal page, and now we've got our, our, our page title. Inside of your page title, you want to make sure that you're targeting your core keywords, the keywords that you want to be known for. We're an inbound marketing agency. We're an SEO firm. We do digital marketing. Now, I've put the most important keyword first. That still matters. Google's going to look at that. They're going to pay attention to that because they're going to say, if this guy's talking about inbound marketing, I got to make sure that he knows what he's talking about. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's keyword optimized. Inside here, we've got a, you know, a very user-driven but keyword-driven um, meta descriptions. We tell a little bit about our business. We personalize an inbound marketing SEO. Um, we're gold HubSpot partners. We're Google Analytics certified. Let us create a custom strategy for you. So for, make sure you don't uh, have misspellings. So this is a great tool, Grammarly. If you're not using Grammarly, highly recommend it. It's going to make sure you catch those things. But as you notice in here, I've got a number of keywords spread out throughout here, That things that we do as an agency. These things will get boldened when we search for something in, in uh, Google. So if I did inbound, marketing what you're going to see is you're going to see that inbound marketing and then you're going to see inbound highlighted here marketing highlighted here marketing highlighted here again when you add these keywords into your meta description they can be call outs for a user when they see you in the search results so make sure that you're doing that in here now if you want to do some advanced options you can actually add schema right into here if you've got schema you want to do. So if you're a small business owner or an organization, now we do it through Tag Manager, but say you just want to add it into this one homepage, you can drop your, your header HTML in here. This is why I recommend using JSON schema. So that's really optimizing your, your on-page for a website page. Now, blog's going to be similar, 
uh, to this as well. Same with landing pages. Again, you want to do all of your pages like this. Everything in the content management system at HubSpot is going to work the same, which is one of the benefits of the tool that you don't have to relearn something when you're in the blog side or when you're on the website side. Now, make sure that you're adding title tags, make sure that you're adding those meta descriptions, make sure that you're keeping them keyword focused because that's gonna help make sure that your content is optimized for search. But we don't wanna stop there. There's another cool SEO hack that we can use, uh, which I'm going to borrow from our friends over at uh, Mori Studios. They, uh, one of their guys, John, created uh, this, this schema, which is very, very awesome and easy to use. And you can sit here and do some site-wide site -wide schema and just pasting into your site header into your HubSpot portal. Now, the only thing you want to do here is replace where it says replace with your company stuff. So, so John did a great job of this piece, and I will link out to this. But a lot of people are always wondering, where do I find this? How do I get there? Now, John gives you good ideas like content, content settings, and HubSpot's made some updates over the years. So let's look at how we can do that. What we want to do is go over to our settings. And to get to the settings, you hit that gear icon. Now, over here, we've got a number of things going on. HubSpot's changed this a lot, so it may not be as easy as it used to be uh, if you're used to the old system. Now we're going to click into marketing. And then we want to go to web pages. So inside of web pages, this is where our templates are stored. So it tells us where our templates are. We can integrate our Google Analytics. We can tell what types of jQuery we're using, logos, things of that nature. We also have access to our robots.txt file here, as well as our site header. So inside of our site header is where we want to copy and paste this schema markup for our, uh, for our site-wide schema. This is if you're only using HubSpot as your website. Now, there's another one for the blogs, and we'll do that next. So you would just copy and paste this in here and switch out all the data. Now, if you're going to do it for your blogs, which I highly recommend, you're going to do a very similar thing, but we're actually going to do it into the blog template instead. So if you want to add schema to your blog, this will do it. Every single blog will get its own schema. Now, this is really powerful because that's what allows you to earn these positions here. People also ask for these call-out boxes. Um, we've got a... Um, a knowledge box right here. You get those placements by, by adding schema and also having good content, good authority, good backlinks, but schema is going to help a ton. It's also going to help you optimize your images. There's a lot of benefits to using schema. Now, this is a little bit more of an advanced side, but still something that, that you can do, honestly, with copy and pasting and cutting a couple things out. It's really not rocket science. So here, instead of going to web pages, we just want to go to blog because it's going to be a, a different template. We're pulling from a different source. Now we've got our templates and all that stuff here. And once again, uh, we want to click templates because now this is going to give our header HTML of our blog listings. All you would do is take this code right here, copy and paste it right into that blog header like, like, um, like so, and that's going to drop it in. It really is that easy. The, the only thing you need to do is make sure that you save it and then go over to Google Structure Data Testing Tool. Now, you won't see it in ours because we actually pull ours using a little bit different types of scripts in, in Tag Manager, which we'll probably create a video in one day. It's just a little bit more advanced than copy and paste. But if you want to get started with Schema and you want to get started to optimize your HubSpot content for the search engines, this is a great way to get started doing the basics. Again, we've covered blog schema. We've got website schema, and that's provided right here. Copy and paste from our friends over at Morris Studios. We've also talked about making sure that our title tags are keyword focused. Yes, make them keyword focused. Make sure your descriptions are keyword focused. And then going in and starting to do the little things well, again, and making sure that you have alt images for your tags, uh, titles, making sure that you're doing that type of stuff for your content. Again, when you go to your blogs and making sure that, you know, we have those, those, those descriptions there, but say you, you want to make sure that your content is, uh, that your images are optimized. Well, HubSpot makes it really easy. Instead of having to go in and look at the text and looking at the code, we can go here, we can click on our image, and we can click options. Come on now. It's not one to give me. Oh, it's right over here. Sorry. And here's our alt text <laughs> right there. So it's added in. It's going to pull it from the file name automatically. So the easy way to do it is make sure their file names are, are, are marked accordingly. 
that's a good thing to do for SEO anyways. And then you're going to have optimized alt text as well. So taking these steps, making sure that you're doing the little things well, uh, and making sure that you're using these opportunities and these, these areas within the settings that you have in order to optimize your content for search is going to go a long way. If you've got any questions on how to optimize your HubSpot portal for search, please let us know or comment below. We would love to continue the conversation. Until next time, happy marketing. <music>